Nicki Minaj is so pissed off. I'm telling you, I think she could squeeze a can of spinach, making the contents loop up into the air where she can then catch it into her mouth. She is pissed. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cut, and I pass a lot to my pro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so. So, okay. I'm gonna just gonna break it down. Shout out to DJ Academics. Um, actually, I saw Smoke Perp talking about it. I wasn't gonna really do a video on this. But, you know, I understand the information is already out there. But I just want y'all to know how I feel about it. You feel me? That's all. So I'm gonna explain the situation first. Nicki Minaj is pissed off. I think she, she she's she's pissed off at the wrong people. But Nicki Minaj is pissed off. And usually when we're angry, we we tend to direct our anger at the individuals that we think are prospering from our misfortune rather from rather than the individuals that actually caused our misfortune. Our our best example. You have, uh, you know, lower middle class Caucasian people that live in certain parts of the country. And what they sometimes do is, I'm not saying all of them, obviously, I'm saying some, the ones that get angry and they like to say, oh, all of these minorities on welfare, it's still in our germs. You know, those guys. But, you know. If you look at the statistics, there's more Caucasian people on welfare, so that doesn't make sense for them to say. And if you also look at statistics, many of the jobs that people that are coming from other countries come over here to do are usually jobs that the people here don't want to do. And if they did do it, they would have to pay them so much money that the cost of those products would go up to a point where then they will be complaining about the product being expensive, right? Right? But instead of being upset with the people that they should be upset with, they are upset at the minority. It is what it is. That's the way things go. The people they should be upset with is the government, by the way. Just so we could be clear. <laughs> just so we could be clear. It's the government. But, you know, instead of being upset with the government and the people that are, are running things, they're upset at the people who they perceive to be benefiting from the situation. I say that to say this. People forget. I could be wrong about this. I think that I'm right, but I could be wrong about this. But this whole selling merch or selling concert tickets and bundling them with album sales, this has been going on for quite some time. This is not a new thing. If I'm not incorrect, there has been times that Miss Minaj herself has spoken out in favor of these things okay it, it, I can be incorrect but I don't think that I am so now when her beef is that Travis Scott's record sales don't count because they were bundled with his clothing line or his clothes that he was selling I, I'm like I don't know if I could really deal with I, I'm not digging that I'm I don't, I don't think that that's very fair. <laughs> Especially when you try to do the same exact thing. Oh, did she? Yes, she did. Okay, see, the way it was explained that I heard it from, once again, shout out to academics. One, The way he explained it was this. He said, basically, months ago, when people know that their records are going to come out, Remember there was a couple of videos that I did a while back when I was talking about Drake going against Pusha T. And I said, people know when their album is going to drop months in advance, sometimes years. You know, it might be August of 2016. And you know that in September of 2018, that's when your album is going to drop. It might be September 2015. And you already know in 2018. 
and 16 in December, your album is going to drop. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know well beforehand. It's rare for an album to just drop out of the clear blue and the artists don't even know the shit is happening. <laughs> like, that doesn't happen. So, when Travis Scott and his people knew what date they wanted to drop their album, they decided to, along with their merch, bundle albums. But they didn't just bundle the albums. They made it, or they, they made it uh, the criteria, so that the simple sale of the item was a direct sale for the album. Whereas when Nicki Minaj tried to do the same thing, well, something similar. And they tried to bundle her concert tickets, also clothes, don't get this confused, but her concert tickets along with um, the album it was done different. It was done whereas the individual that bought the concert ticket would then have to go upload or or they have they have like a key code or some shit. And then they got to go to a website. Then they got to put the key code in. And then that way they can download it. The, you understand? You understand? It sounded kind of arduous, didn't it? It didn't sound as simple as just go buy the shirt. And then you have the album. <laughs> it didn't sound that simple, right? Exactly. So, whereas there were probably a ton of people that bought the uh, the shirt, the, the Travis Scott clothing or whatever it was that he was selling, and then still didn't go redeem their album, it still got counted as a redeemed album. While Nicki Minaj, when she was selling her concert tickets... It didn't get counted as a redeemed concert ticket unless you actually redeemed the code. And you would have to assume that an individual going to a concert to see somebody that they like already has the album. So how many people are going to actually redeem that? So yes, Nicki Minaj is upset over this. Also, you got to understand, remember, she added Fifi to her album. You know, after the fact as a bonus track in order to try to help boost the sales because of all of the streams that Fifi is getting online. Now, when you're doing all of this and you're trying to say that somebody else album sales doesn't count because it was bundled with their merch. I mean, there's a, there's a saying about calling the pot, calling the kettle black. And there's another saying about, Living in glass houses and throwing rocks. Whichever which one you feel like using. Fits right here. You just. Look man. I'm just saying it like this. Her plan didn't work. And that probably had more to do with the logistics of it. And it probably had something to do with how much money they wanted to get back. I'm going to assume that the reason why her plan didn't work because there was greed involved. And the reason why she should actually be pissed off with her label or whoever was in charge of, of, of tricking the, um, <laughs> tricking the billboards. <laughs> Cause that's what they're doing here. You do know that, right? They're just tricking the billboards into thinking that they're selling more actual albums than they really are. They're really not selling anywhere near these numbers that are being being um said. And the real reason why I believe she's so pissed off is this is her second this is her second time going at number two. I know she felt like she should have did number one this time. And I am 100 percent sure that by the time her next album come out, she's not gonna go at number one. I don't care. I, there's not going to be that many barbs left. I mean, look, Cardi B is kind of eating right into her little fan base, her group going on over there. Her, Cardi B is eating right into them. So if if the barbs really want to help Nicki Minaj, the best way I could say is just start buying four and five albums. Give them to friends. Just buy albums and give them to people. <laughs>
<laughs> like, you know, people that you know might not, might like Nicki Minaj, but won't buy the album. Christmas gifts. Birthday presents. Did, did I say that right? Because it'd be birthday gifts and Christmas presents. Yeah, because you get presents on your birthday. And you get gifts on Christmas. I don't know. What is anyway, Whichever which way that that goes. That's what you can do. You can literally do that instead of being upset at Travis Scott and his people. Blaming it on the baby because the baby so cute. That's why he sold all them damn albums. Blaming it on the woman. <laughs> oh, man, yo, this is crazy. They're blaming it on absolutely everything other than the people that they should blame it on. The people who it was their job to do the tricky, sneaky shit to make sure that she came out and was number one. That's it. That's all. Be mad at them. Let me know what y'all guys think about this, man. Just leave it down in the comment section. I mean, it is what it is. Shit funny as hell to me. I mean, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, you, you had two albums come out. Both times you dropped that two you, you the, the, um, in, the, in the first week. Like, this is not a loss. Like... <laughs> Like, this is not an L. I don't understand what the issue or the problem is. I mean, I, you want bragging rights. I get it. You drop when Travis Scott dropped. I get it. People are going to probably make jokes about how you couldn't even outsell Travis Scott on o your opening week. I get it. I get all this. It's like the the, the, the guy you're playing basketball with and he... <laughs> and he misses the shot and he won't argue at you for not grabbing his rebound. I get it. I one hundred percent get it, yo. Look, um, I don't know. Just leave it down in the comment section. That's all I got on this one. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.